the topic is how to be instinctive um, when you audition, you know, in the room or on tape more recently. And, you know, some of you might realize that you're much more instinctive when you're doing your neighbor's short film or when you're training by yourself than when you audition. And you might also notice that the bigger the opportunity, the bigger the audition, the project or the role, the less instinctive you might be. And at the same time, you do want to be more instinctive, right? The, the bigger the opportunity, the, the bigger you want your instrument to be, the, the most open that you want to show up. And yet, um, most people who are not feeling instinctive, and you might recognize yourself there, you might be feeling some nerves, some tensions. You might be feeling stuck, like all closed up and blocked, sweaty, um, like uncomfortable with yourself and like looking at yourself and not really being in the moment, not being present, definitely not being free. And um, you know that none of that is interesting to you in the experience of it. And none of that is interesting for your audition. You won't get booked if you're not instinctive. Instinctive meaning, you know, you have an impulse and you can follow it. Uh, a line is thrown at you a certain way and you can flow with it. So you can just follow the moment and be really, really present and free and authentic. That's what instinctive is all about. It's very unpredictable. It's, um, it's the reason why you got into acting, because it feels like freedom. It feels like you're here right now. You're in the present moment with no matter what you're feeling, you're here and you go with it right? That's why you got into acting. But that sensation of that high, that pleasure, that fulfillment of being really you, not pretending to be something else or a better version of yourself as if there was a better version of yourself somewhere. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, it feels horrible to not be instinctive, especially because you're passionate and you train a lot and you might invest a lot of your time and money for your career. And so when you have that um, opportunity, that audition or that tape and your instinct goes and your instrument goes and you feel all closed up, it's just, it's just horrible. It just stinks. It's just like, bleh. it's so disappointing. Like you hate yourself afterwards because you're like, oh, I'm putting all this work and all this passion and all this heart when do I close up? Why do I close up when they say action? Or why do I close up when I have a tape? It's like really, really irritating. It's the opposite of everything that you want, right? So I get it. And so I want us to look at actually what is really happening. So you not being instinctive and being all locked up and nervous and tense in the audition room or on tape is actually just the consequence of what is really happening, of the root cause of what's happening. And I like looking at digging deeper and looking at the root cause because what you usually think is the problem, in this case, I'm not instinctive when I audition, is usually just the consequence. So if you try to address that, let's say, okay, I'm not instinctive when I audition, let's try to be instinctive, you won't solve the issue. The real issue is under that. You not showing up as instinctive is just a, a consequence, a symptom, if you want, of what's actually happening underneath, okay? So what is happening underneath is that when you were born and when you were little, you came out all instinctive and free and authentic. You came out as you. This is you. This is your instinct. And then you got educated. You got formatted, programmed, wired to be good, to behave, to feel a certain way, to think a certain way, to, yes, behave, to have opinions, to fit. But none of that education, whether it came from your parents or from school or from the rest of the culture, none of that wiring and programming that came on top of you honored your instinct. None of it ever said, oh, you're angry. Let's just go and be angry. Or you're sad. Let's just feel into those emotions. Let's go. Let's be interested in that. None of it said that. At home, you were told to stop crying, stop yelling, stop even being too happy. 
And at school, you were told to radically, you know, shut up and sit down and do what you're told for about 12 years if you just did, you know, regular school. And then there's more after that. If you did, you know, some sort of artistic or acting education, you were told how to act. And acting is the art of living. Can you be taught how to live if you're yourself? No. So you've been wired, in other words, out of your instinct. You have been programmed out of your instinct. And I often use an analogy. It's like you were born into a world where people told you, oh, don't ever use your legs. That's, it's wrong. It's, it's, it's pain. It's going to be painful for you. And it's going to be damaging for everybody else. You d- d- never use your legs. No, 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 no. And every time you would use them, they would say, no, 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 don't. And you, you got punished and blamed and humiliated. So you learned to not use your legs. But nature gave you legs. <laughs> That's the issue, right? Nature gave you legs to use them, to be able to stand up and see far away in the horizon, to run, to catch some speed. So if you don't use your legs, what you use is those arms. And they become really, really strong and they move your body around. The problem is they were not made to move you around. They were made to grab things, right? So if you had to start using your legs you'd have to do a bunch of things. You wouldn't be able to just stand up and use them. So it's kind of the same thing. You were wired to not use your legs. In other words, for acting, you were wired to not be instinctive. You were wired to not feel, to not be you, to not be free, to not be instinctive. You have been wired and programmed and educated and formatted to please to people please, to fit, to be good, to look good, to be right. That's what you've been wired for. So when you enter the audition room and the higher the stakes, the higher this will happen, the more this will happen, what do you do? You do what you've been trained to do your entire life. You try to please. You try to be good. You try to look good. You try to get it right. But this is not math. It's acting. And acting is the art of being alive, fully alive, in your unique, specific way. So when you're trying to get it right, when you're trying to look good, when you're trying to not make any mistakes, you're not being fully alive. You're not even being. You're not here in this moment. You're in the next moment. You're in the future. You're in the result. You're trying to fake it all because that's what you've been taught to do. You've been taught and raised and educated and formatted and wired to not be you, to not be instinctive. You've been wired to fit, to please, to be like others. And when you did that, you got rewarded, you got loved, you got validated. When you didn't do that, you got punished and blamed and humiliated. So you learned your lesson really well. You were small, you chose. There was either I'm going to be humiliated and be exactly who I am, or I can be rewarded and pleased and, you know, fed and gratified if I behave like they say. So you do that, but because you do that every day, who do you become? Not you. If you're not you, you can't be instinctive. So the work to be done for you to be able to be instinctive, meaning to be your full version and go with whatever goes through your veins in that moment because of the text, because of the moment, because of your partner, For you to be fully instinctive and surprising and satisfied and incredibly magnetic in the room or on tape, you have to undo those legs, those arms, sorry. You have to undo all of that wiring. You have no access to your instinct. It's not that you have a problem with nerves or that you're stuck. You don't have an instinct. It's there, but it's sitting under your wiring. You can't, you can't access it. It's impossible. So what the people who do our work do is that first we take them through a journey, of course, a program where we undo the wiring. We undo it. Because because that's what you're depending on. Your people-pleasing mechanisms are super professional. That's all you do. You don't know better. That's where your oxygen is. That's where you've you've been told that your oxygen is. So that's where you go. 
You people please, you try and do it good, you try and do what they want, but you're not instinctive if you do that. So you have to undo that mechanism so that you can, you know, remove that resistance and get back to your instinct and then wake it up and muscle it up and all of that good stuff. If you're interested in doing this work, I'm gonna uh, share a link in the comments or in the bio for Instagram about, um, about this so that you can get on the wait list. We can send you some free information about this and some free trainings and we can let you know when we open. All right. Okay. Thank you guys. Bye.